this is a wonderful day lord christ has made lord christ has made me see this day i say glory unto thee for eva and eva and who can be likened unto the lord none than the god as i talk with the scripture to open eyes of kenyan christian use me as thy vessel not my knowledge not even my glory but all glory and exaltation to the lord of lords king of kings even the christ you created heaven and earth and there is no other lord who can be likened unto thee and beside thee no other god Thank you. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for thy guidance, for walking me. And um, uh, today, uh, as I talk of this scripture, it's uh, because of um, mushrooming. Oh, we say nowadays hundreds and hundreds of lying people, those who falsify doctrine in Kenyan nation today, they are everywhere in Kenya. Say, plant thy seed, bring 10,000 and I'll pray for you. Bring, uh, bring 100,000, even a million you can plant the higher you plant the seed the higher you'll be healed the, 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 the higher maybe your business will expand to new york and from nairobi to dubai and across the world and they will say these are liars false teachers and the scripture t tells us clearly christ is holy and uh, he will never give associates with, with false teachers and those who falsify doctrine. So, if you are anointed of God, <laughs> we go to the book of St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, the Christ, when he does send his disciples, he tells them, Go, love Judah. Cast out the, dev the devils and raise the dead, increase the levels, heal the sick, and uh, freely you've received, freely give. That uh, a Kenyan brethren or a Kenyan prophet is standing saying, the more, the more you give, uh, you shall be healed, your business will expand, you'll get promotion, your family shall be blessed. You can see clearly, these are lies and you Kenyan Christian, you go by emotion, you don't study the scripture. That's why these people are fleecing you after the last penny. You've been in the church for the last uh, uh, 10 years and your life has not changed. Even uh, you can uh, and the state when you came and to this church, you are more blessed than today. And uh, you continue suffering. And uh, these are the truth. You just hang on, hang on now, saying uh, Christianity is suffering, long suffering. But not like this. It's because you keep on uh, committing sin after sin. Why? The, the, the king summoned prophet of God in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1 is telling us when you go to the house of God oh my God to the church be fast to hear open thy ear to hear the word of God the voice of God than running to to sacrifice to sacrifice uh, planting the seeds uh, give 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 this give 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 you are just promoting the flamboyant life of the Kenyan prophet and prophetess but not to the glory of God who lives in heaven oh hallelujah my message today is for you Kenyan Christian open your eyes open your brain pray god of heaven not me fast and the lord will open your understanding even then to these scriptures thank you christ thank you for being me thank you for thy masses and loving kindness and the guidance and who can be likened unto our lord none than thee i repeat again Book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 8, when the Lord does send his apostles, he tells them, Freely you have received the gift of Holy Spirit. Freely give. So how come you Kenyan prophet, prophetess, a pastor, wherever any name you can call yourself, you, you are telling the sick in Kenya today, those who, who are downtrodden, those who are crying, those who have been bedeviled by demons, those, their lives is misery. 
give money, plant seed, then after planting, I'll pray for you. At the well opening, the eyes of Kenyan Christian, I am telling you, the Lord of heaven, the Christ, when he died on the cross, he did draw all men unto him, and uh, no one can claim he's the only one who is blessed. None. God is no respect of people. And uh, we see in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 2, eh? Christ is the finisher. Christ is all. And nobody should claim this title. Even me, myself, when I try to do that, I'll be a sinner. And that's why we see Apostle Simon, when Christ does send him into a place known as Caesarea, he did find a man. He, he wasn't a Jew, he was a Gentile. But he did give his arms unto the Lord, and the, the Lord loved him. And that's why in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 34, Simon Peter did open his mouth and said, God is no respect of persons. What do we mean in this scripture? We are saying in Kenya today, you might be a Kikuyu, a Kamba, a Luo, or those major tribes, a Miji, Kenda, Kalejin. You might be even Dorobo, wherever you are, a Somali, Luya, and other tribes you see in Kenya today. But if you obey the voice of God, if you obey the commandments of the Most High, He will use you. He will heal you. He will give your life blessings. Even unto all days you shall stay in this world. That you people, you, you, you love to see those people in designer suits, in white robes, and they are liars, false teachers, prophets, who have fleeced you. I'm just speaking to you. You have been in that church for the last 10, even 20 years. Your life is miserable. Why? You don't follow the commandments of God. Because Christ is seek seeketh righteousness. And that is why when we got the book of St. John, <laughs> chapter 4, verse 23, verse 24, Christ did tell the Samaritan woman, the Father, the seeketh those will wash him in spirit and in truth and nothing else. And this truthness is following the laws of God, seeking righteousness always. But uh, when you hear oil, anointing oil, when you hear um, buying clothes, buying other things in church, right, you are running there to, to be healed. Oh, my people, open your eyes. God does not desire sacrifices nor burnt offerings. And this we see in the book of Psalms, chapter 51, verse 16. If thou desirest sacrifice, I will give you. But God does not delight in burnt offerings. And that's why when a king saw he does not obey the voice of God, when he sent to to get rid of Amalekites, uh, 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 Prophet Samuel, in the book of First uh, Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, king, uh, Prophet Samuel is telling the king so. Obeying the voice of God is everything because God does not desire sacrifices. God does not <laughs> delight in rams, offering of rams. So thank you, Jesus. In the same scri scripture we find in the book of prophet Hosea. Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. God says, I desired mercy and not sacrifices. The knowledge of God than the burnt offerings, but you are running um, everywhere to those uh, mushrooming churches in every corner of Kenya today, planting thy seed, giving a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand for your business to expand, for you to be healed, and for your family to be blessed. You are lying. There's no changes. You'll suffer unto thy grave because you don't want to, um, to acknowledge the knowledge of God. You don't want to study the scripture. You don't want to pray God to make you understand. And uh, I'm right here opening your eyes, you blind, you blind Kenyan Christian. Open your eyes. Understand the doctrine. Understand the word of God. Okay, these false uh, uh, prophets and teachers today, they use a uh, book of um, Apostle James chapter 5 verse 14, uh, 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 where 
uh, James is writing, if you are sick, the elders of the church will pray for you and anointing, anointing, uh, anointing oil, the new. But what is this anointing oil? It's not a physical olive oil or fake oil where you are buying today in thousands of shillings in Kenya today. This is the power of Holy Spirit. Really? True? <laughs> when we got the book of Ecclesiastes written by King Solomon, chapter 9, verse 8, King Solomon is, say, is saying, Let thy garment always be white, and thy head should not lack ointment. Ointment is wisdom, is learning and understanding the scripture, not physical oil which you are buying. These people are just lying to you, twisting the scripture. Because I tell you today, you Kenyan blind Christian, scripture is not a storybook. Open your eyes. When uh, the James, James is writing in chapter 5, verse 14, anointing oil, not physical oil. This is the power of Holy Spirit. Open your brain and understand the word of God. You the blind. How oh, you've been young, a Christian. You've, uh, you've attended attended Sunday school. Today you are still old pastor. You cannot understand doctrine because you don't ask Christ who is the reveal of these things. He's the one who is using me as his vessel, not my knowledge. But Christ who lives in heaven is the one who gives us this understanding. Thank you, Christ. For Hallelujah. May you be glorified by our nations, O oh Jesus. As we wait for thy second coming, O oh Lord, we repent our sins, saying, God, guide us, protect us from evil spirits, agents of demons, prince, part of this world, and all persecution. As we wait for you, but we will tackle the scripture, because scripture is holy, and this is the word of God, and you Kenyan Christian, open thy understanding of this scripture. Oh, hallelujah. That's why I repeat and I tell you, Christ is no respect of persons. If you obey his voice, if you pray, if you seek, you seek righteousness, it shall be given to you. And no man or woman should stand and say he's blessed than you. You obey the word of God and you shall see all manifestations from heaven, angels in heaven, even descending to where you live. Because Christ, we say, he, he is holy and he will never associate himself with false teachers. And that's why you, you are sick every day. You are running to this church after church. You are running to a prophet, to a prophetess. They pray for you, but nothing is happening to you because you understand, not the doctrine. What am I saying? I take you to the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 58, the verse 7, 8 and 9. Oh, oh my God, understand the scripture. Prophet Isaiah is telling you. God, he wants when you see a person who is cast out, bring him or her to, to your house. A person who has no clothes, naked clothing. A person who has no food, give him something to eat. And uh, don't forget also to look inside yourself and repent and seek righteousness. And the Lord is telling you in verse 8, and your health will speed Will, will 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 speed quick what does he say your your health will speed up what what does this mean it is meaning when you eat with the orphans with the widows when you you cover the naked you won't be sick <laughs> the lord will heal you but today you are running planting the seed of a hundred thousand instead of taking these hundred thousand shillings or ten thousand shillings and buy food to the hungry buy food to those people who are unable in the naked and um, maybe you are able to build a house your neighbor and is poor maybe sleeping outside they build him or her house and you shall see sicknesses they shall never be in thy body and thy family forever because the holy word is true even for evil. Oh Lord God, Father, I pray, oh Lord, lives in heaven, open the eyes of Kenyan Christian who is blind. They have been lying to for so long, they are suffering. Oh, by these false teachers and who oh, fleece them day and night instead of taking these sacrifices which God has done desire. Feed the widows, the poor, clothe 
the naked and in verse 9 the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 58 the Lord is saying oh my God when you shall call he will hear you and when you cry as a Kenyan Christian the Lord will say here I am because you are righteous amen the Lord our God is gracious and merciful God repent thy sins you Kenyan Christian and the Lord will open your eyes and uh, you will understand his doctrine thank you Christ oh Lord who can be like unto thee we have no God than thee than Lord God who lives in the holy hill of Zion uh, spending uh, more than 10 years in one church <laughs> you've changed others have changed churches 10 times others run to churches maybe in South Africa the Nigeria to get healing you're wasting your time you just understand one thing by reading book of Pro prophet Isaiah 58 cloth the, 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 the naked give food the hungry and then um, repent thy sins and the Lord will heal you you don't need to to board uh, airplanes or planes to go to Nigeria South Africa you can go to Zambia Zimbabwe America but nothing will change because the Lord seeketh only righteousness and obey his voice that's why I take you back to the book of Acts first Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 when Saul went against God prophet Samuel is telling him the Lord he wants you to obey his voice this means his commandments and not a uh, planting seeds planting your millions thinking your business will expand your family will be blessed you get a promotion your life will change now you live uh, the life the bible says you align yourself not will happen to you then after years you'll start blaspheming saying there's no god there's no god but see yourself who is following false teachers people who falsify the doctrine of the lord the word of god is holy and it shall stand forever and that's why in the book of prophet Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 the, the grass withered the flower faded but the word of our Lord our God shall stand forever Kenyan Christian open your eyes open your eyes and stop buying those fake oil handkerchiefs hmm? buying those paraphernalia a church booming business which is no scripture and the, that's why we see the people who are buying these things people believe that when you pray for my food i eat i eat they lack faith because that's why we saw in the book of saint matthew chapter 8 verse 10 the lord christ is saying when he had the centurion say your word will heal my servant you don't need to come you don't need to buy handkerchiefs oil to, water you don't need you need faith and believe in god and before this faith seek righteousness and these sicknesses will heal even, even before going to anybody we have seen the book of Acts, chapter 10 verse 34 god is no respect of anybody you are a kamba mijikenda lua kikuyu aluya you are a swahili a digo <laughs> you name all somali kenyan tribes you see you might be from ogieko those small tribes but if you seek it righteousness whether you are massa it doesn't matter lord loves righteousness and uh, you'd be sick the lord is saying in this scripture you'd be suffering though you are suffering today because uh, you are running everywhere to church after church you are running even abroad you you seek to be healed you 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 you, you, you are, you are seeking blessings but uh, i'm saying the word of the lord is, is telling you clearly seek righteousness and god does not delight in in sacrifices and offerings you are offering offering all the time and their life does not change read the book of, um, of psalm 51 verse 16 the lord does not desire these things read book of prophet on hosea chapter 6 verse 6 you kenyan blind christian God desires mercy and not sacrifices. God of heaven, 
does not delight in burnt offerings, but in knowledge of his word, knowledge of his glory, knowledge of his commandments, and follow them. And your life shall be well forever. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh Jesus, for this word, for this knowledge. Thank you for blessing me. Oh Jesus, use me. Even then, I pray to open the eyes of not only the blind Kenyan Christian, but also the blind Christian in all of Africa. Not but also in all of Africa. And when this world will hear this world, let him be blessed. Because we see. Lord of heaven does not desire these sacrifices you keep giving, giving, and your life does not change. And thus, even of these false uh, teachers and false uh, uh, preachers, prophets, they go on and lie and say, even then, um, you, you can give more than 10%, uh, give 50% of, of, your, of your teeth, of your teething, and this also is theft before God, because we see in the book of Genesis chapter 14, when... Um, uh, Arashas Abraham meets uh, um, Melchizedek, even the, the priest of Mosai. He, he gives uh, 10 percent of, of of what he had. <laughs> but now this uh, false teacher they say, give 50 percent of teething. Give, give, give. And you blind Christian, you go on and give because you don't understand scripture. You're also sinning with your, with this false teacher. You're all sinners. And uh, that's why People like you, you continue just mentioning the word of God, word of God, and you might find yourself at the end of days, you are not even the book of life. And then reading book of Revelation chapter 20, 15, if you are name, won't be found in the book of life. Be ready, you shall be thrown in the lake of fire. Kill Christ. Kill my Lord for blessings, for feed me, for walking with me, for guiding me, oh Jesus, for giving this word to open the blind Christian, especially in Kenya, my nation. I pray in you, Kenyan Christian, may Lord give you understanding. May Lord give you light, Father. Oh Father, give them lights. Don't let these false teachers, false prophets, keep on lying to them, oh Jesus. Who can be likened unto thee? We have no other Lord than Christ who lives in heaven of heaven. So, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for this day. Thank you for thy glory. And then, when the Kenyan Christians see these men of, of, of women in clothes wearing whites, standing before the altar of God, they think they are holy, 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 but the holiness is not physical. That's why they are selling physical oil, physical broom, salt, you, sugar, tea. <laughs> and then tomorrow, may God forgive us, they'll bring you even urine from animals. Maybe monkey, they tell you drink, the Lord has blessed it, and then you shall be diseased and die. Because the Lord is only, and he will never even associate himself with falsehood in church today. Hallelujah. What does the white garment mean? When we read the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, verse 8, King Solomon is writing, Let thy garment be always white, and let thy head lack ointment. This, this white is a righteousness, not a physical dress, physical. When you see a person wearing white, you, you think they are holy, but they are just... Uh, and, deceiving you, defrauding you, to steal from you, saying, God has told me, give me one million. Those are lies. God does not desire these things. Read again. Book of Prophet Hosea, chapter 6, verse 6. Lord desires mercy. God, God desires knowledge of his word, of his commandments, than burnt offerings. But you blind Christian, you go on only giving, giving, and your life will never change because you are a sinner, same as your false teacher, same as your false prophets and prophetess in Kenya today. And I have come to appear in this generation to say, open your eyes, open your eyes. And reading book of uh, uh, Galatians chapter 1, starting verse 5, 6, and 7, there shall come these people who will trick scripture. And if even myself, me myself, if I preach other gospel 
that the gospel of Christ left for us, even apostles and all gener generations who have come before us for the last 2,000 years. Let it be him or me be a cast. And that's why I'm telling you, Kenyan Christian, open your eyes and see these people who keep lying day and night in the name of Christ. Their life will never end well. See their families. See their lives. How can the Son of God, they are, they'll, be, they'll be plagued, they, they'll suffer reproach and shame even mentioned in the book of Jer or prophet Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 14 perpetual reproach I tell you shame even to thy graves because we say Chris Christ is holy and he will never associate himself with falsehood thank you Lord my God thank you Jesus Father thank you for this day Father those who have heard these words bless them be with them walk in them guide them if they repent father forgive their sins remembering christians who are being persecuted in this world father save them from challenges and those who pray for blessings bless them remembering those who haven't received christ there's no other way to eternal life but see but is by christ book of st john chapter 14 verse 6 receive christ undergo baptism follow his laws and your life shall be well as we wait for his second return Oh Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for walking me. Thank you for all blessings you've bestowed upon me. Oh Christ. Thank you, my Lord, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Speed me. Walk me. Guide us, oh Lord, Father. Bless those who love thee, even unto the end of the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for thy blessings. Thank you, Christ. Oh, Lord God, you are holding and holding, and we have no God than thee. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, who can be lacking unto thee? None than thee, than the Lord who lives in the heaven of heavens. I worship thee. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, Lord, my God. Oh, hallelujah.